Hello everyone, my name is Alan from MicroHelper and we'll be looking at the latest build 9926 of Windows 10 Technical Preview. To begin with, we'll be looking at the visual features, additional features, and stability and speed. To begin with, we'll be starting off with the start menu and when you open it up, it has an animation. The look of it has changed and the same features are there, although some are excluded. One of the features that are still there would be pinning. So if I want to pin Notepad, I right click and pin to start. It should be at the bottom of it and you can organize it or make it bigger by right clicking, making it small or medium. Depending on the app, it only has certain sizes. So the news would have wide and large. In the previous build, you were able to make it skinnier or medium or large. Now they removed that. Now we have the expand start icon. So when we click on this, it brings up that old interface similar to Windows 8.1 and Windows 8. Although we don't have to log out and log back in in order to switch between start menus. So the icon is right there in order for you to choose what interface you want. And these are the changes they've made in the start menu. The next one will be search. It's integrated with Cortana. You can customize it by making it a search box or making it an icon. I'll be switching it to the search box. So if I want to ask for the weather, make sure you have a microphone on your laptop, computer, or tablet. And if we click on that icon and ask for the weather, what's the weather in Guam? It's currently 85 and partly cloudy in Hagatna. From my perspective, in my opinion, I like this feature. I'm not too sure if it's a gimmick, but it is there. And it's a great marketing aspect because I play Halo and Cortana was in Halo until she died in Halo 4, so that's a spoiler alert. And just the title of it makes it very enticing for people who play the game. Um, you can search. So if I'm searching for paint, you'll search in your computer. At the moment, when I'm searching for pain or applications, it doesn't search it in my computer, it opens up the web browser. So if I say, Microsoft Office, it opens up the web browser instead of looking for my app. In order to search for your app, you have to click there and search for it. For Microsoft Word, and I have Microsoft Word 2013. And this is what arrives on my own computer. I hope they add in the feature where we can search our own apps by our voices and um, they add in more speech recognition commands. The next feature I'll be showing you would be the store. Unfortunately, the store is not working at the moment. It's in beta mode and it's in the latest release of the build. I'm trying to install some games or apps, let's say like 9gag, and when I click on free and it's saying it's going to install, I come up with an error. This is why it's in beta mode, so it's not working at the moment. Hopefully in the future it will be working. And I've tried many times, but it's not working at the moment. So the Windows Store, I would say, would be stable in terms of uh, scrolling. Because in the previous build, when I'm scrolling through it, I had to click on a scrolling bar instead of just scrolling with my scroll wheel. So now when I scroll down, it scrolls when I'm hovering my mouse over certain areas, and it can just do it just like that. Unfortunately, I can't install anything at the moment, and that's all there is to explain about the Windows Store. It's just stable, and it can work with your scroll wheel. The next feature we'll be looking at would be the notification area. When you have new notifications open, you can choose individually, and you click on a little X in order to close certain ones. There's also a clear all if you're getting cluttered everywhere. Now they have four buttons here, and you can choose what to put here. So if you click on all settings, and you go to system and then notifications and actions you can choose what to put so you can either choose tablet mode or you can change this to Wi-Fi and connect and all settings so now when you open up your display notification area it's changed to what you customized it to if you're wondering what this tablet mode so if you have an app that's meant for Windows 8 or such it will make it full screen when you click on tablet mode so now everything's in full screen. To do undo it, you just click on tablet mode once more and it should go to a window size. There are various system settings. It used to be called control panel, but now it's just called setting. You can customize everything in a concise, compact manner. The next part we'll be showing is file explorer. The icons have changed. I'm not quite used to it at the moment. I hope they change it back to what Windows 7 used to look like, but I don't see that happening. It's quite ugly, I would say, from my opinion. 
Although it's just visual looks, at least it functions to what I want it to function like. All the same features you want to do with it, organizing, it's basically all there. The only thing they change would be the icons. The next feature and that the next feature that is not new but it has been updated would be task view. They've added animations. In order to open it up, you have shortcuts. So let's start menu tab to open it up. And then control start menu D to open up a new desktop. Closing it would just be clicking on that X. Unfortunately, when you have many open, you can't scroll through it or drag it. You have to close it individually. Hopefully in the future they'll fix this because I do not like it at the moment. I like everything I like everything there in order for it to be functional. And when you have windows open, there's an animation each time you close something or when you open something up, it arrives there. And one of the shortcuts to navigate through them would be control start menu and you use the keys and you use the arrow keys on your keyboard in order to navigate between them. Of course start menu tab is there again in order to open it back up. So we'll close that and we're back to the desktop. This is what has changed within task view. In terms of speed compared to what I use, which is Windows 7 on my laptop, on Windows 7 it will take about 25 seconds to boot up. On Windows 10 it took about 15 seconds to boot up. Logging in took about 25 seconds in order for everything to be set up on Windows 7. But on Windows 10 I think it took about 10, 5 seconds. In this latest build, they have increased the speed and stability of certain apps. And it was able to detect my own drivers without me having to download them manually in the previous build. But now, it automatically detected it and got everything I needed without having to struggle through all that. So in this build, um, hopefully they will make more fine-tuned adjustments to it. There are some bugs here and there, but they're getting closer to making it finish. So for my opinion, should you get Windows 10 or should you stay with your operating system? If you want features for yourself to control your Xbox and use it on your computer, yes, you should get it. If you want Cortana, you want the new eye candy, then yes, you should get it. But if you are using Windows 7 or Windows 8, I don't see that there's a necessary upgrade there if you want the latest updated graphics, which is DirectX 12. And for me, I will be getting it just to stay updated in order for the latest software to run stable. So you tell me, what are your opinions? Is this a gimmick with all these features? Are they useful? Let me know in the comments below. My name is Alan, thank you for watching, subscribe and stay tuned for more. God bless. The feeling comes to me.